Uh, hello, so today we are doing this contest number, uh, B-Weekly contest number 15. The first problem is um, elements um, appearing more than 25% of the time. And the problem in a sorted array, and the problem says we get an array that is sorted in non-decreasing order, so in increasing order essentially, and there is exactly only one integer in that array that occurs more than 25% of the time and we want to return it and so here if we look we have two occurs two times one occurs just once six occurs four times and the others occur only once and so obviously the answer is six because it occurs four times we have an array that is like four eight nine elements and so four is definitely more than 25 percent of nine and so that's the solution um so let's see how we can solve this um, problem here so the first thing that comes to mind for me is that well we could just if you look at um, we could just keep a counter of the occurrences of each element right and then go through the values of the counters and see which one is more than 25 percent um, which means basically is more than the length of the array divided by 4, right? So that's a very simple solution that we can do. And in order to do that one, we just need um, to have a map maybe, right? So something like a um, count, right? Which let's just do collections that default dict. Why am I doing this int here? So that if the value wasn't yet added to the array to the map then it has and we add it has by default value zero it won't return that the key if we do like count x and x haven't been added yet uh, like if we do this and x hasn't been added yet uh, we won't get a problem because this will be considered zero and so we'll just put um, because this one is equal to this so this count x wouldn't be considered that the key doesn't exist, but instead it would be considered having value 1. So that's why we use this here. Um, and you, could see, you will see that we will do this operation to add 1 later. Um, and so for this we need to import collections. And we need to here just go through the array, right, and then say that count of a is increased by one and now that we did that we need to check the one that occurs more than 25 percent of the time which is more than the length of the array divided by four so we check for um, key and value or maybe you can just we want to return the key right so we want to return the key right and so and we want to check the value so that will be in count And we will check just if the value is bigger than n divided by 4. At that point, we can just return it. We just need to handle um, um, the case where n equal to 0 in that case, equal to 1. And in that case, we can just return the first element of the array because that's the only element that exists, right? for the case where the array length is only one. Uh, because here in the boundaries, we can see that the array length, length can be less than one, but it can be one, right? So here, okay, I need items. Uh, okay, so we don't have n, so let's just define it here. So n is the length of the array. Okay, so that passes. Now let's just try one test case, which is this one. <coughs> to make sure it works for one element, which is the edge case there. Okay, that passes. Okay, so now what we can do actually, because in Python we have this thing called counter, right? 
so if I have the array here and if I do counter it just give me each element and how many times it occurs and additionally that counter if I say this is equal to C has a method called most common that returns you the most common element and since we know that there is only one element that is more than 25 percent that means that the most common element that's what we are looking for that's the element that occurs more than 25 percent of the time and so we could just get the most popular the most common element or the element that exists the most using this method and from there we want to get the number so we want to get this key here and to get that, first we have to get the the outside, the value here, because it's inside the list. And so we get that value. And next we get this value 6, which is in position 0 in this tuple here. And so we could just return that, and now we get 6. And so essentially, what we are doing instead here, of all of this, is we can just return. And what is C? C is just the counter for the array right and we can even do this more in one line by removing this here and putting this like this um okay so now uh there is a problem it seems here so we need to import it so from collections we want to import counter right and we want to run that and I think we can submit now and we can see that it passes um, so another method with which we can solve this is that so if it occurs more than 25% right that means that there is a, a quarter of the array where there is only that element right and so that's what we will be um, trying okay so to do that first we need a couple of things so just n is the length of the array what is the a quarter of the array that's just n divided by 4 that's the position of it and after that well we need to just try all possible um, positions that will give us a quarter because what we are interested in is just checking an entire quarter and so we will check if the array at that position is equal to the array at i plus q so that it can form uh, a quarter, right? So i plus q will give you i plus q plus 1 elements, right? Because of the indexing, for example, if we start from 0 and q is equal to 2, we will have 0, 1, and 2, um, which are essentially three elements so it's more than quarter by one which is what we are looking for here and so if that's the case that means since this is sorted that means that every element between i and i plus q is the same so that means we found the element we are looking for so we could just return it right otherwise we didn't find it we continue searching and here, just for the case where n equal to 1, let's just return 0. Okay, let's submit. Okay, so that passes. So another solution that we can do that is pretty clever is using binary search. So what we can do is, okay, let's just start from every quarter position, which are and which are basically um, so start from quarter position essentially which are basically we know these they are n divided by 4 and uh, like this n divided by n divided by 2 which is another quarter from n divided by 4 to n divided by 2 and then 3 n divided by 2 and then n or the last one we don't need to mention because it starts from here and ends at the end um, okay so what we can do here is that for each one because we what we are looking for is more than or equal to 24 percent so that element is in a run of the same element that 
passes by either n divided by 4 or passes by n divided by 2 or passes by 3 n divided by 2 right and so to do that so we could just go through these positions basically and so we have n divided by 4 um, n divided by 2 and 3 n divided by 2 right now if once we do this what we do is we look for the first occurrence of so let's the, say this is i we will look for the first occurrence of array i and we look for its last occurrence right and that will give us the range of the like for six it will give us these because we will find that um, the first occurrence is so we'll find that the first occurrence is this six here and we'll find that the last occurrence is this six here so we know that the size is anything in between same thing for this run of two values we'll find that the first occurrence is this the signed occurrence with the last second last occurrence is that and we can just return it and we can do this with binary search because the array is sorted and that was our hint here by saying that the array is sorted and once we find these two so let's call this start and let's call this end we can just check um, how many elements of value array i exist by doing end minus star right and if that is bigger than n divided by 4 that means we have more the element occurs more than 25 percent of the time and we can just return uh, return its value right and so to do the first occurrence in python we can just use a module called bisect right so if i use this array here that we have here and import bisect and do bisect um, left on the array and search for the value 6 it will give me the first occurrence of 6 which should be 0 1 2 3 it should be 3 right so it gives me 3 now to find the last occurrence which is 3 4 5 6 so 6 is the last one but to get the one before that it's 7 right so if I do bisect for array at position 6 I get just the element after the last one and so now uh, here I know how to get these how to get the first occurrence and the last so I can just say start is equal to bisect dot bisect left to get to the first occurrence um, and the element is just the one at the uh, quarter position so it's array i so this is the first occurrence and after that we have end here which is the last one so um, last occurrence right and now um, to get the range and see if it's bigger than 4 we can just do end minus star and check if that is bigger than 25% by checking if it divides n by 4 and if it is that means that we found the element so we can just return it otherwise just keep going and at the end here um, just to be safe I'm going to return the first element if we didn't find anything okay so we're on this okay so it's one here so there is a problem because probably because of this um okay yeah the problem is this it's actually 3n divided by 4 Uh, so it's not a range, it's actually just these values, that's what we are looking for. Um, okay, so this looks good, right? So let's submit. Okay, cool. Th so that passes. So with binary search, by finding the, taking each quarter position, finding the first occurrence of that value and the last occurrence, and seeing if that's more than n divided by 4, which means we have a solution, right? Um... So the other method we can solve this with is 
sliding window technique, right? Which first it doesn't look like it will solve it, but it can because what we can do is essentially put first low at the first position, right? So what we can do is just first uh, put low here at this position and put high in position of uh, basically just the one after um, just the one after um, the quarter position, right? Um, basically, the the quarter of this is just these two, right? But we want to put high here. Um, I'll show you why in a moment. And so we put high here. Because why do we do that? Because we want the element to be more than, so strict, strictly more than. It can be equal to. If we put just it high here, then equal is counted and we don't want that. And so that's why we put high here. And we check both. If they are different, that means that's definitely not the element we are looking for. And we can just continue looking. If they are equal though, that means we have a run like this where we have let's say here where low would be uh, uh, let's say here and high here that's more than the um, so that's more than n divided by 4 and so that means that we found the element right so that's what we are going to apply here and so the way we are going to say it is that low and high the first one is 0 the second one is just the position after the the one that completes the uh, the quarter and so what we say is n divided by 4 right and then while they haven't th this is how sliding window usually work is while they haven't the two pointers haven't met we keep doing something so we check first if the both ends of the sliding window are different what should happen so if they are different that means we didn't find anything so we need to move the window. So we know that this one and this one is different are different, so we need to move the window. So we move move both like this. Right? And we check. So why I why didn't did I move high? Because if I don't move high and just move low, that means that my window became equal to the size of 25% of the array which won't help me because what I'm looking for is occurrence more than 25%. And why am I moving low? Because I know low is no longer working since I know that it's different than the value at high. And so I try another window. And so here, if they are different, I need to advance both pointers. And so I do low plus one and high plus one, right? Because they are both moving forward. Now, otherwise, that means that both are equal. So that means I found a window of size more than 25% that contains only the same element so I could just return that and to do that I'm just going to break from the array and at the end no matter what what is the reason we exited we can just return the array at position lower right and that's pretty much it for the pointer technique one um, so there is an invalid here I am missing this Okay, so that looks good. I'll submit. Okay, so that passes. So you can see here we could also solve it with this simple sliding window technique. Um, okay, so we saw how to solve this with one with a hash ma simple map, another one with the counter data structure that Python has, and then another solution using um, just a simple advancing of quarter after quarter which is basically just a linear scan uh, which has the same time complexity as the solution before it and then after that we looked at one using binary search and now one using sliding uh, window the one using binary search is just all like n of like n and this one um, however um, is actually of and divided by I think four I think yeah but essentially, yeah, so those are the type of solution that we have here. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.